We have this nice idea that there is a flying ant day and often in really good summer weather you can get lots of ants emerging all over the country at the same time. But actually what our study showed was that any time between about the middle of July and the end of August could be a flying ant day and sometimes you can have ants flying in your garden weeks after each other. So although there is a lot of coordination around the country and it's linked to weather, hot days above 25 degrees, low wind, um, rain perhaps in the next few days, those sorts of conditions are good for them. You don't get this massive coordination across the country. So in a good summer, you can actually have lots of flying ant days throughout that period. So flying ants are the reproductive ants. So most of the ants you see walking around the pavement are workers and they're never gonna start a new colony. But the flying ants are the males and the potential new queens that emerge to mate. So flying ants are basically a big mating day um, for those ants coming out of the ground, mating up in the air. The females will land back down, the males too, um, but we tend to forget about them. The females are what it's all about and they'll dig a little hole and they'll start to try and create a new colony if they manage to avoid all of the gulls and other things trying to make them lunch. Yeah, flying ants don't really form a swarm like honeybees do, so they're not forming a big collective mass. What they are doing though is being everywhere in large numbers and that can be quite annoying, but at the end of the day, they're completely harmless. They're actually very good um, bird food. They're excellent, um, excellent for that. But also ants are incredibly important for aerating the soil and nutrient um, recycling and all sorts of other ecological functions. So although they can be quite annoying, um, they're more than harmless, actually. They are completely um, beneficial for the environment. So the best thing to do is just to enjoy one of nature's spectacles. It won't last forever. Um, it's typically late afternoon for a couple of hours and then, uh, and then they'll be gone, perhaps for a few weeks or perhaps even if the weather's not so good for the whole year.